Today I'm going to show you how to do a life cast of your teeth using alginate and then we're going to create um, a cast out of dental stone. The alginate I'm using is a um, Monster Makers Bite Gel and what we're going to do is use two parts bite gel. So I have a half a cup here I'm measuring out and um, I'm going to place that into a cup. And then I have to put one, so two parts bite gel, one part water. Water. So I'm going to do a quarter cup. I, I did a half a cup of the bite gel and I'm going to do a quarter cup of water. Okay. And then I'm going to stir that. I didn't put all the water in. I'm, I'm going to see if I measured properly. So you should have it kind of a creamy paste consistency. It shouldn't be too thin or too thick. And you can see there's still some powder in there. So I want to make sure it's all liquid into this kind of like gooey alginate mixture. And this is non-toxic. Alginate is made out of um, a seaweed material. Okay, I'm getting closer and I and I also want to stir it until the the chunks are all smooth. Okay, so I'm getting closer. And this has about a minute and a half working time. So time the time is ticking. <laughs> And I need to place this in, um, I'm gonna place this in a tooth tray and then I'll place it in my mouth. And it's kind of hard to get it inside your mouth so you wanna kind of practice beforehand to see exactly how you have to maneuver to get it into your mouth. So obviously you can see I'm needing to add more water because there's still some powder at the bottom but the paste the alginate is getting to be a nice paste. It's slightly thick, but I'll just do a little more water. Just doing a little bit at a time until it gets to be the right amount. Okay, so stirring it. Get all the chunks, it's pretty smooth. There's a few little chunks, but they're not too big. And then what I'll do is take this tooth tray and fill it with the alginate and then you're going to place this in your mouth and it's kind of going to goo outside of your mouth and just hold it there try to breathe through your breathe through your nose and you're going to have to wait about two minutes for this to set Okay, so when you are putting this um, tooth tray in your mouth and you have the alginate in there, you want to make sure that your teeth aren't touching the edge of the tray because you need the full impression of your teeth and you can't have any edges touching the tray part, otherwise your teeth shape will be a little off. Um, you may get some bubbles. I did get a few bubbles on the inside. And then when you take it out, make sure you don't swallow any of the alginate. It kind of gets stuck in and around your mouth. Um, it's not toxic, but you don't want to swallow it. Okay, so then the next thing is I'm gonna take um, a paper towel and dry out the inside of the alginate impression because if you put the dental stone in there and it's still wet, um, the stone won't set properly and your teeth will kind of be crumbly. So um, I'm gonna dry them off first and then I'm gonna mix up my dental stone and I'll do a small batch just to fill in the impression and then I'll make a second batch to fill in a, a tray to make it a bigger um, kind of life cast. Um, and if you're doing a bottom tooth impression, so I just did the top, if you want to do the bottom tooth impression then 
you'll make a second batch of the alginate. And I did a half cup of alginate to a quarter cup of water and I probably could have done half as much alginate because I have quite a bit left over. So if you're making two impressions, you can save some of that for the second batch. Okay, so to start the, the dental stone mixture, you're gonna pour water into the cup first. I'm just gonna do like a tablespoon of water and you're gonna slowly shake in the dental stone. You're gonna do this until the stone creates kind of a surface of a cracked dry lake bed. Uh, I think I actually could have done more like two teaspoons instead of a tablespoon. It's, it's absorbing, it absorbs the water. And as it's absorbing it, you can see that it starts to get drier and more crackly. So I'm actually getting close to what I need, but I need a little more water to make my, um, uh, sorry, a little more stone to make my um, holder for the impression. So I think I'm almost finished with where I want that to be. So I've used about half the powder that I have. And you can see in here, as it's wet, um, it starts to get crackly. Here, let's see if you can see that. It starts to crackle a little bit, like dry lake bed, and it absorbs the powder. Okay, so now I can gently stir this. Try not to get bubbles into it. So you don't want to whip it too much. Okay, so that's incorporated. And then I like to just tap it on the table a couple times to see if the bubbles rise to the surface. So you can see them kind of rise to the top. of my teeth, the teeth edges did not um, cast. So you can see they're like only halfway. So what I should have done, I didn't, I thought I did this, but I didn't quite do it all the way, is when you are putting the stone in, really push it down into the creases and make sure it's going all the way. Okay, so what I'm gonna have to do is do another set. And that gets tricky because because I don't really have a lot of stone. You also, maybe when you are filling it up with alginate, tap it on the table. See, I have these big holes, so you want to um, avoid that. And if you tap it on the table, those bubbles will come to the surface again. So what I'm gonna do is, let's mix this up one more time. I'm gonna use a really tiny bit of water, so like a teaspoon here. So like this would be about a teaspoon, if not a little more, just a little bit. I'm gonna take my dental stone, dry off my spoon, and do the same steps. I'm gonna try to do this um, a second time without ruining it. And like I said, I don't have a lot of stone, so I'm going to try to make this happen. So here we have the surface is turning into that dry cracked lake bed. And I actually added a little too much, I'm just a dab of water. So now I can stir it.
Okay, let's see if this will work. So before I pour that in, I'm gonna tap, tap the stone to get the air bubbles out. And then I can pour it back in. And you can't use, the alginate will start to shrink, so you can't really save it and redo it. You have to redo it fairly quickly after you've made the impression. So I'm gonna, I'm adding that stone in here. And I don't need to fill it all the way like I did the last time, but I think I actually have enough. Okay, so I'll take, I can even take the end of the spoon here and kind of tap around the edge. So I'm trying to get the stone in the base of where the teeth are. And then I'm also going to try to tap this. I'm going to tap it on the side of the cup here. So you can see little air bubbles coming up. big air bubbles coming up. <laughs> this is perfect. This is exactly what I want. I want those air bubbles to come to the surface so they don't get stuck in the base of the teeth. Okay, and I might just add a little more to top it off. And then you can see I'm kind of dabbing it to get any other air bubbles out. This is really important to make sure your mold, your teeth come out nice out of the mold. Okay, so then I'm just going to let this sit. It might take a half an hour or so. Make sure it's totally dry before you peel it out of the alginate. Okay, so once the um, dental stone's fully set, you want to make sure it's not wet at all. If it's a little wet or damp, then it's gonna be fragile. So make sure it's really set and hard. Um, when I poured the dental stone into the alginate, I also had a little extra, so I poured in a little bit to this, the bottom of the tray that the impression's gonna go into. Um, I will add more stone to this, but I had extras and um, I wasn't sure I'd have enough if I mixed it up um, afterwards, so I put it in here. So now I'm gonna carefully peel out the alginate piece. And you wanna be very gentle with this. Okay, so then now my, my teeth, I, I peeled them out of the alginate. And what you wanna do is sit them in water for about a half an hour and let them absorb that water and they'll get harder and more easily, um, they more easily attach to some new plaster. Um, I also need to put in a little water into this cup. I'm gonna mix, I'm gonna mix a little more to fill out this, the surface here. And then I'll, I'll rest the teeth inside. So let's see if they fit. That's where they're gonna go. Okay, and then I'm gonna use up the rest of my plaster. So I have like just a teaspoon of water in the bottom right here in my cup. Okay, so that's the rest of my um, dental stone plaster. And there's not really um, that many air bubbles here, so I'm just going to um, place the teeth right where I want them to be. I already pre-filled this with leftover dental stone that I had. And I also soaked that, that piece in water so that it would adhere to this new layer a little better. I want to get all the material out because I need every last bit of it. And 
I'm see I'm, I'm using the spoon to kind of release any air bubbles just kind of tapping on the surface and then the little air bubbles come up to the surface and I'm gonna try to embed this teeth imp tooth impression and you want to make sure all of the teeth are visible that nothing is being covered by the plaster and I will see if I can't get a little more And you don't want to push it down too far. I, it kind of got stuck into the plaster a little too far, so I just pulled it back out again. And that should be good. I'm just going to let it... So there's a little bit of gum showing. I know it's hard to see. I'll make sure you see a little bit of the gums. And that the teeth are just resting on top of the plaster. I should be able to just let it dry, and then I can pop it out of this little mold.